Okay, so I just got done washing my face and everything and applying the uh, the paste mask thing that I told you, uh, you guys about for, to get rid of the dark marks like right here. I was telling you guys about from my um, my heat rash that I have and my video, somehow my video um, was deleted. Um, so I'm doing an update on the video. Um, redoing the video of the how to get rid of dark marks on your skin naturally without chemicals and stuff. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to insert the video now. So, yeah. Okay. Hey, guys, this is another video um, on how to get rid of dark marks. So this is what I do um, to get rid of dark marks like on your elbows, um, your cheeks, chin, right here, um, oh, your knees, your knees as well, or your inner thighs. I know us ladies, you know, we get dark marks in the inner thighs. And this is what I do, um, you know, to get rid of those, um, those dark marks. So here we go. So I get a cup or a bowl, doesn't matter. Um, I like to, um, this is what I do. So either a bowl or a cup, um, I pour it and this is what I have baking soda in the bag because it was a, I had a huge baking soda box. It was kind of busted a little bit. So I put it in a Ziploc bag. So basically, um, I get like a scoop, just, um, basically a scoop, like probably I say Two teaspoons, or it depends on what are you, wherever you put it on your body. If you're gonna do like all over your body or whatever, or whatnot, but it depends. So, like, if I want to use it, say for instance, on my knees or or in the inner thighs, your inner thighs get like a little. Sorry, this is my niece's little um, egg thing, so I can find my measuring cup. So, um, so like little about this much. I don't know if you can see it. About that much, like a little scoop. Probably, I say this is a like two. It looks like two teaspoons worth. Looks like, and then I put it inside the cup. So basically, I'm going to actually demonstrate demonstrate it. Um, so you get like that much, and then. Um, let's see, and then get the coconut oil, the organic version coconut oil, and right now I don't have a spoon, so I'm not going to worry about getting a spoon, um, right now, i get one in a second, so just like a little, matter of fact, I hope that thought. So, I don't have any plastic spoons, but I'm just go ahead and use this. So, get like a teaspoon um, worth of coconut oil. Drop it in there. Okay. Next. Um, you can get, I got lemon juice, but normally I use lemons, um, for this too, but I got the lemon juice. So for us, the lemons or lemon juice doesn't matter about, I say about, hmm, about 10 drops, 10, 15 drops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten worth of lemon juice drops and then kind of stir it around a little bit so I'm kind of stirring that kind of stirring it real good to get like a little paste Let's see like a little paste so 
keep stirring it. Then after that, I get um, honey. Or you can use raw honey. So I say about a half, a half a teaspoon. So a half a teaspoon of honey and then put it inside there and kind of rub it around. Okay, sorry, for some reason my um, camera shut, up, shut off on me. So, um, like, like I was saying about the honey part, kind of scrub that, I mean, not scrub, pour that in there, like a half a teaspoon. So like I already kind of poured it in there. And then just do that, keep stirring it. And you really don't need water for this method. Some, um, I know that I uh, researched this and some, I think they put a little bit of water, but I just prefer not to, if it, it worked better. Um, it actually had a good pace. So I don't know if you can see that. It's like a good consistency, it's a good pace. So, and you can just kind of rub it on your face or legs or legs or doesn't matter inner thighs legs face let that sit for a while for about I say five minutes rinse it off real good um if it's on your face, just let it sit for a while. And then I say if you use some kind of cleansing product to wash your face with, um, after you let that um, the paste um, sit on your face or, um, yeah, on your face, rinse that off. Um, and then go ahead and backdoor your cleansers and your moisturizer and stuff on your face. And then just keep doing that. I say with with the stuff that I just showed you to clear dark marks for um, at least do it for I say three days and see if you see any difference. Um, then just do it every like I I do this at least three times a week. I don't keep doing it. I don't do it every day. So at least three times. If I want to like get rid of bad dark marks. And I'm going to um, show you. Like I was saying I had a heat rash. And this is what I've been doing to get rid of the marks. So I just do it three weeks. Um, I mean three days a week. Um, so yeah. This is, that's it for what I do to get rid of the dark marks. Um, on my face. Or like a, oh and for your inner thighs ladies. Um, do the same thing, doesn't matter, as long as you get a good consistency, consist I can never say it right, I was butcher some words, um, but don't get me wrong, I know how to read, it's just like, I have a lisp sometimes, and so, yeah, I can be bad with words, but I know how to read, and yeah, but anyway, like I was saying, um, yeah, for your inner thighs, ladies, um, same way, just kind of make a good little consistency. I don't know why I keep saying that word again. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, make a good little paste and um, rub it on your inner thighs. Let that sit for a while. and About five, three to five minutes, rinse that off. Put some good lotion that you, not no scented lotion, some good lotion that's good for sensitive skin. Um, put that on you. And then um, just keep doing it three times, a, three times a week. Yeah, three times a week, and you'll see the difference. So it doesn't matter anywhere on your body; it will definitely work. Three times a day, every week, you should be good. So anyway, that's it for my video. Thanks.